Okay, so this is a walkthrough of the Crossbar FX user interface. We'll start by logging in. Um, this will be using CryptoSign authentication. So this will email me an activation code based on the email address I logged in with. So I'll pick that up from email and continue the login process. Now this uh, account already has a management realm set up and on that realm I have already peered two nodes, Alpine 1 and Alpine 2. Now these nodes are running locally on my network here and they're sat behind a NAT firewall. So the first thing I'm going to do is try to add a public node. So I have a, uh, an FX node sitting on AWS. So I'm going to go ahead and try and pair that. So I'll pick up the public key and add it to realm one. I'm going to call it node one. And it should automatically sync itself up. There we go. So this is picking up um, CPU usage, memory usage, load average. Uh, and if I expand that, um, it's actually getting hold of um, disk usage and network traffic as well. So I now have a collection of three nodes to work with, um, two locally and one public. Um, so if I if I move down to the Docker option, Docker is listing um, the nodes it can see that are running Docker. Um, it's listing the containers that it can see across all um, all three nodes. And uh, it's looking at um, all the images that it can see spread across all three nodes. Um, so if I go ahead and try and start a new container based on one of the images, if we start it on Alpine 1, um, I'll call this demo 1. Um, don't have an application realm. So if I go back and uh, quickly create an application realm, Realm one. Um, that's not got any workers attached to it. So if I if I start that realm up on um, node one uh, on the default worker, so I've now got a running application realm. It's running on node one, so it's public, so I can connect to it from anywhere. So if I now go back to my uh, Docker images and try that again, um, I actually want um, that one. So I'll do a create container. Demo one. Uh, this time I have my new app realm I can connect to, uh, and I'll run it automatically as part of the, uh, the creation. There we go. So new container created. If we have a look back at containers, we now have a container called Demo One running on Alpine One, which is behind my NAT firewall locally, uh, and that will be trying to connect to the. Um, uh, the node that I have uh, running on AWS, which is node one, which is where I created the um, the application realm. Now this will deliberately fail. Um, currently, node run one is running um, fake Let's Encrypt certificates. So although they're um, they're valid, um, because they're running off a fake CA, then the client won't accept the connection. So if I have a quick look at the console. Um, that's the WAMP client console uh, running inside a terminal session inside the user interface. So it's failing to connect um, because it doesn't have the CA for the SSL certificates that we're using. So uh, what I can do is fix that on the fly. If I open up the toolbar and start a shell session, this is, um, let me just go back to the console. This is a WAMP client running inside a container and this shell session is a shell or terminal session running inside the same container. So if we do a PS X, um, there you can see the um, the WAMP client that we have running that's currently not functioning as we would like it. So in order to fix the problem, I need to add the uh, the missing root CA, which I can do um, inside the running container. Um, so if we head over to an appropriate folder. Okay, um, I'm going to put the files in there. I'm going to start off by um, syncing the uh, the instance with the current Ubuntu repositories. 
uh, I'm going to want to install an editor um, just so I can create the, uh, the files. So um, the first file I'm going to need is the fake root CA. So if we um, edit fake root root CA, I can paste into this terminal session from the local machine. Um, also, fake intermediate, the CRT, which uh, again, I uh, should be able to um, paste into from my local machine. Now that I have those two files, I need to tell the machine um, that I have some additional certificates, which I can do like this. Uh, just to recap, we have a, a failing WAMP session here, failing because it doesn't have the, uh, the root CA but it will be rereading the certificates on every attempt. So as soon as we do this, I should see it added to, to added. If we go back, it's automatically picked up the new certificate and we have a successful connection. So uh, the WAMP client running on the machine behind my NAT firewall on my local network is connecting to a, an application realm, which is running on node one which is sitting on AWS. Um, so that's working as, as we expected at the moment. Now that WAMP client is doing two things. It's publishing um, information every few seconds to a topic, and it's making available uh, an RPC target. So um, if we have a look at, uh, if we take that out of the frame for a second, if we have a look at Event Spy, and go to application and connect it up to our application realm. Um, it will automatically discover the, um, the subscriptions and registrations that are in use on that realm. So we only have one client, um, which is the, the one we've just fixed. Um, it's got one registration, which is um, a function called comma example add to, which simply adds two numbers together. And we have one subscription, which is the on-counter subscription, which broadcasts a new, um, uh, a new counter um, increment every few seconds. So if we uh, go ahead and subscribe the user interface to that topic, you can see here under events, we're now seeing events coming through every few seconds on that topic. Um, and we can uh, get details of the payload by just clicking on the uh, item we're interested in. So that's coming through. If we just head back to the terminal session, you can see on the terminal output, we're up to 47, 48, etc. here, and that's being mirrored in the user interface in real time because the, the user interface is basically a subscribed client to the, the WAMP event. Um, so they should always be in sync. So if we go back to uh, registrations, we can test this as well. If we do call topic, uh, it's expecting two numbers. So if we give it 10 and 20 and execute, then uh, it's giving it an answer of 30. So that answer has come back from the WAMP client. Very simple operation, but uh, there we go. Okay, um, so we have application realms, we have nodes. Um, those are the live sessions currently connected. Um, those are the routers that uh, are currently working. Docker is showing the, the containers that are running and the images that are available to start new applications. And Event Spy is giving a window onto what's going on behind the scenes on both the system um, and within any connected application realms. Okay, so um, if I go ahead and log out, Let me close that and we're back to our login again.